Praise God, praise God. And um, for those of you who are um, tuned in, I would like to thank each and every one of you for tuning in. I would like for you to go to Ecclesiastics chapter 3 because of the fact that October, every time when October comes, we're noticing that it's a change in the weather. It's a change um, that we expect and some of us embrace. Even though it's getting cold, sometimes we get people get tired of the heat and, and they're ready for that change. And then when the snow comes, that's when they're like, uh-uh. But one thing about it... Um, and each part of the season, you know, it's a gift of life, you know, and there's um, winter, summer, spring and fall. And right now we're in our fall season and that's when everything is getting ready to shed. Like the, the, the trees get to bloom, excuse me, the trees go to blooming and the trees look so beautiful. And then all of a sudden it, the, it goes to shedding, a shedding takes place place and that's why there's in our lives there's a shedding that takes place just like a snake that got a shed out of that dead skin there's a a, a, a a change that must take place in our lives some of us are getting younger i'm gonna say younger even though it's older but one thing about it we get better through time because each stage in life that we go through we get better and the older we get the more we have to cultivate our minds and continue to read and study and stuff so we can have everything in memory See, even those that are in mu music that are doing music when they get up to be an older age they got to continue to know how to play that tune and continue to keep their minds occupied because i tell you the strength in your mind you, know, you can fight against the alzheimer's that and different things and elements in your body and a lot of that comes because people hold different things in their in, in, in against people and that's why i say it's good to free yourself and i mean when you leave right people of god that's anywhere you go you know you can always come back when you leave right but when you leave wrong you know that bur bridge you burnt you ain't coming back. But I remember um, um, one of the gentlemen, he had, I'm not going to mention his name. He's a comedian. But anyway, he said, he had a, his, his little character on it. He said, you um, burn the bridge with me, and then you expect me to send you a boat. I thought that was so so funny but yeah i thought it was cute as well but in life people of god there's a lot of changes that are being made so that's why it's not time for us to pull away pull away from people because of different things that happen in our lives but i tell you gotta go in that right area that area that caused you to be stagnant and he'll pull you out. And, you know, I just thank God because even as I'm ministering to other people, I'm not like your average uh, prophet. Like a lot of people, some people prophesy to the, um, the uh, they could go by seeing, they could go by holding hands, looking in your eyes, they could go by... Um, um, feel they could go by different things, but when you're abiding in the spirit of God, gotta go right where the core is. And when God uses me, He goes right through the core where the matter is, and I could pull you out of where you are. And that's what prophets do they pull you out from where you are, and then they put you right back in the right course. And sometimes people have been so bad to the fact that people are afraid to trust profit because they feel like all they want is your money treat you did it out but one thing about it i thank god for using me because you're gonna get desired results because i tell you i don't have no problem crying out to god i don't have no problem saying god i need help i just thank god because i had only him that i could depend on but i thank god that when god raises you up it don't be for yourself it be for your family and others and other generations you know we we are here we are making history yes history is something of the past because guess what tomorrow yesterday is history and today is a future but i just want you to know that we have a a, a bright future people of god if we don't quit if we don't give up never give up on an individual never give up on your children i don't care what it looks like you have some have even had to still have faith in a child even after their child ended up having to die still in their same ways but they had to stand and believe that god would change them because you know what god is a gentleman we have a choice just like your children have a choice some will say you know what i'm getting older for this you know it's time for me to change my life and some won't but you got to realize it doesn't matter what uh, uh, life deals with you. I remember there was a lady in the store. And she had this T-shirt on. I said, I like your T-shirt because it says something about the cards of life. And, you know, a lot of people don't like for you to mention it about um, um, cards, mention about um, playing a game. But really, in life, if, if you got dealt a set of cards 
And them cards wasn't dealt that you didn't like. You got to learn how to play the game. You got to learn how to play them cards out. And guess what? You might not win that time, but then the next deck that come to you, you look at that again, then you can rearrange that thing. You can say, you know what? I'm going back to school. You know what? I'm going to get me a job. You know what? I'm going to do like this. You know what? I'm not getting nowhere right here. You know what? I'm turning, I'm turning the corner. I, I, I'm changing my life. And what better way in October? What better way in October? Because fall is getting ready to come in. The leaves are blooming. And your life is getting ready to bloom, people of God. But I want you to know, even in um, ecclesiastics, it's a time and a season for everything. And it says, to everything there is a season and a time. Every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to be built up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rent and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. What profit hath he that worketh in wherein he laboreth? I have seen the trail which God hath given to the sons of men to be exercised in it. He hath made everything beautiful in his time. Also he has set the world in their heart. So that no man can find out the work that God maketh from the beginning to the end. I know that there is no good in them but for a man to rejoice and be good in his life. But I want you to know, people of God, that, that God is a good God. And everything that we have to go through, everything that we have to endure, we have to give God thanks. And sometimes it uh, causes us to activate our faith. Because you know what? We don't have to accept the report of the devil, but we could re believe the report of the Lord. I don't care what it is that that doctor say you may have, but yes, God put doctors in place to help heal, but God is the healer. But one thing I tell people of God, when I pray for them, I say, go back to the doctor. I tell them, go back to the doctor. And when you come back, I guarantee you that that report that you have will no longer be the same. And they have done that. It was a blessing because the lady, I'll never forget how when um, that happened, she called me in. I came and I sat and she just looked and, and she reminded me how my mama used to look at me when I was younger and would prophesy to them and tell them things that come to pass. And she would look and she said, I want to talk to you. I said, yes. And then she went to scream and my daughter is here for cancer. And she was telling everybody that. And I just thank God because God likes to um show up and to show out people of God. It could be the most, you could be faced with the most difficult time in your life. And sometimes instead of you asking God why, say, Lord, I thank you because you're going to use me as a testimony. Lord, I thank you because you're going to bring me out. Lord, I thank you, God, that you're using me as a testimony because without a test, you don't have a testimony. So you can't get caught up when things happen and things happen to you. You be like, oh my God. God, why in the world? Why not you? You understand what I'm saying? Because God want to use you as a testimony, not for you to unfold, but for you to get back on your feet because you're champions, people of God. You are champions. Each and every one of you that are tuned in, you are champions. There's nothing too hard for God. God want us to believe and trust in him and know that he's going to work every situation out on our behalf. And that's why it's so important that we be lined up with God. It's so important. I used to sit and wonder. I said, Lord, it seemed like everybody could do this and do that look like Doors open up for them and I'm being holy because you won't let me do certain things and go certain places. But let me tell you, I thank God, people of God. And I thank God because even some that have fallen short, they see that I still pray for them and I still love them and I don't talk against them. And one day a lady was talking to me. She told me, she said, still stay holy. She said, keep staying holy. She said, everything you've been praying for God, God's going to give you. And the one thing about it, I love God to give me something that man to give me. Because, honey, when man give it to you, man can take it away. But you know what? God, when God gives it to you, God know you're ready for it, people of God. When God gives you something, when you know it's your time, God knows that you're ready for it. And I thank God even for the ministers that are on Facebook. Because there's sometimes they don't even know what others are going through. And they can say something that could tap right into what that person is going through. And people are looking for realness, people of God. People are looking for realness. They, they can see, you know, people in the streets, they can see when a person faking it. 
They know it. They don't even have to be in the prophetic. They know it because they experience it. They've been around it. But we are the Bible that some will ever see. Some will ever read people of God. But you'll be surprised that the people will come to God because of the fact they know that you're real in what you're doing. Yeah, people going to lie on you. Yeah, different things you're going to go through. But guess what? That's not important, people of God. God wants to get his glory. And I just thank God for that. I was given this Bible, and I'm holding on to this Bible. Yes, I have another Bible that I paid a lot of money for. But someone very dear to me had gave me this Bible when I was in Mississippi at my daddy's funeral. But I want you to know that God is a good God, people of God. And I know that God is in the restoration business. God is restoring families. God is restoring finances. God is restoring people of God. And we got to believe and trust in God. We can't believe God one minute and then doubt God the next. I used to do that all all the time in the past. I don't do that no more. I just say, Lord, I stand on your word. You said it. I believe it. And that settles it. And I tell you, people of God, different people that I'm meeting in my, in, in my life that are really being an encouraging word to me, giving me encouragement. I just thank God because you know what? I embrace them. They're family to me. And I have no problem calling. Let's set up an appointment. Let's meet. Let's talk. Let's get to know one another. There's some things that are in your life that I need. You understand? Let's be that mentor. But some people you ask to be a mentor to, as soon as you have something, they pop up and try to have something at the same time. How is that? You know what I'm saying? Don't worry. Nobody ain't trying to know. These are God's people. Nobody ain't trying to get nobody people. I just want those who God have assigned, those who God had ordained for me. I'm not trying to get everybody. I'm not with that. God could get me 10 people and I'm going to work with them 10 people. And when you look at them 10 people, you're going to see the spirit of excellence on them. The same, that's like I told you, all the rejected ones. I thank God that I was rejected because now I know that I could be a blessing to those that are rejected and help them come up. And that's what we are, people of God. There's no big eyes. There's no little use. We are helpers to be helpers one another. You are your brother's keeper. You are your sister's um, keeper. And that's what God wants, people of God. So it doesn't matter. Um about you. It matters about what are you doing for the kingdom of God. Because people need to see the kingdom of God. I remember I used to get tired all the time. They would come to me and talk about first seek the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, all things be added to you. I was like, every time I turn around, they say that, saying that. But you know what? When you first seek the kingdom of God and you be holy in his righteousness and you get lined up in position, God will bless you, people of God. And you will meet people that you have never thought you would dream of meeting. All because you have lined up. You can't hold people to their past because people are in their future. You understand? They only use the past to let them know where they came from. Because you got to know where you came from to know where you're going. But I'm letting you know, people of God, there is a brighter day. And I want you to know, don't give up. You know you need a healing. You speak, Lord, I thank you for my healing. I have to say, Lord, I thank you for my new knees. I thank you for my new everything, God. Lord, I thank you for my complete overhaul. You understand what I'm saying? Because God wants us to trust him at his word. If we take God at his word, there is nothing that he will not do for us. God bless you and thank you for tuning in. This is Prophetess Cindy Philemon of the Authentic Prophetic Experience. God bless you and you have a wonderful, wonderful weekday and a wonderful weekend. And thank you so very much for tuning in. I really appreciate you. God bless. If you have-